Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with a quick Christmas craft. And this is from Hobby Lobby. I got it for half price, so it was really about $3. It is very basic. But this is a great craft to do with your kiddos. It is a great craft to do with an older family member or friend who may not have as good de dexterity. This would have been a perfect craft to do with my mom. Pardon me, when she was suffering with Alzheimer's. Sorry, I had to catch my breath there. When she was suffering with Alzheimer's. So, sorry, we have cedar fever here. So if you ever hear me get stuffy or having a hard time breathing, it's because it is cedar fever season here and I have not taken my drops this morning. So before I leave in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to take those drops. And you can hear my little birdies. They are saying hello this morning. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to just quickly do this with y'all. Um, I just wanted you guys to see. This is a no must, no fuss. It is such an easy craft that they don't even give you hardly any instructions. It says, peel stickers from backing and place on blocks. Pressing firmly and smoothing with fingers to secure. Use photo for placement. Uh, there are three blocks, two numerical sticker sheets, 19 assorted stickers. Um, yeah, that's not hard. So, let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's so funny. They don't even give you the instructions. Gotta love that kind of craft. I mean, this is the perfect craft to give to your children. So I'm just going to sort them. There are my numbers. Here's my long stickers. Another long sticker. Here's, I've got my picture here so I can see what I need to do. And I'm going to get all my little square stickers together and I'm done. So the only thing I see is you're going to have two of these that you will not have stickers on. So that's where I'm going to start. Um, and then you'll have that as well that'll be different. So I'm going to start here, and I am not a fan of trusting glue. I mean, trusting stickers, especially for something if you want to have it for a while. See, I want something that my grandchildren, when they can come, they can pick this up, and I can go, no worries, have fun, you know. I don't have to worry about it if it breaks. I mean, I literally have bought a set of little, you know, very pretty dishes at Target, and I'm going to stop at the other Target on the way home because... They've run out of bowls at the Target I've been buying them at. And I bought my child, my grandchildren, um, oh, you know what? These go on the end here, so I'm glad I took a good look. Um, a set of, uh, like, melamine um, tableware that is very pretty, but I thought it would be great if um, for the grandchildren when we use fancy dishes. And when I was checking out, the gal goes, I was telling her, she goes, oh, what are you going to do with these? And, and I, she didn't know the term melamine and all of that. And so, anyway, she was a sweet young girl. And um, so I was telling her, and she goes, that is per... I do not like... That does not fit. Yeah, it fits. It is cut. It was hanging over. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry. <laughs> Little, uh, um, but anyway, she goes, I love that idea and she goes you don't have to worry if they break them and I said exactly and they're gonna love them because they're gonna be fancy and they're and I said and then I bought some for the boys that are plain Jane they're just plain old blue plates they don't need pink frilly plates unless they want them and so and you know probably when they're little they're gonna want to be like their sisters or their you know their cousins or whatever but when they get older a little bit older and they want boys stuff I bought them some just plain old blue plates and and again you know they're very inexpensive and i will literally put them in my china hutch so when the kids come they're gonna know oh mimi you know mimi has some for us too so and i'm gonna be super excited about that and actually my name is gonna be, is mimi chris so it's kind of fun just like my grandmother so, I hope, how easy peasy was that? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this one because we know one of these days it's this. I'm looking at that picture and um, I wish I just had longer fingernails. <laughs> but, but anyway, so I'm trying to have things, I, I always have, I've always had a nativity that I knew if my grandchildren, you know, they could play with it and each one will be given a, 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 you know, a nativity to play with at their house. Um, you know, non-breakable. Um, that is something that's very important to me. Uh, my parents had a huge collection of nativities, and they loved that. That was something that they that literally sat out all year long. 
and on there they have these gorgeous bookshelves that they had built when they bought when they built the house and um yeah, I'm sure they didn't know they were going to make it all nativities. First, they had all these beautiful um, birds, you know, they had collected when they traveled from different artists. And and my husband and I have a few of those. And we made sure that everybody else got some of the birds because that was a big deal in their collection. And, and I made every single family get a nativity. Uh, I mean, my sister was like, no. And then... And she didn't want her boys to, and I said, no, one day you're going to be glad that you have this. And I told, you know, told my nephews, I, her, her too, and I said, please, take them now, um, because they'll be gone, and I want you to have something to remember your grandparents. And so, you know, and you may not want them now, but one day you can tell your children, you know, these were your grandparents, and they were just like, you know, of course, and, you know thank you Aunt Chris you know and they immediately went and did it and they were just real sweet about it and um you know, they were just so so precious in those days when after we had lost um, my dad and then my mom and and my sister her husband and her boys um are big jokesters and especially one of my nephews he is just full of poo some days <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll tell him. You're just full of poo. And anyways, he's so he's so funny. He's just so full of it. And um, oh my gosh, he was. I remember we were at I don't know, one of the funerals, and I had set out all these pictures of my parents. It just collaged this whole reception room, and I had made all these pictures and put them in frames. And, and I've yet to even get them out. They have just you know it's just too hard to do it but um and I may give one to each one of my siblings I'm not sure yet and for one of the Christmases but um because nobody would take them but but me and um anyways my nephew came to me and he was so cute he goes oh I can see where Nana gets her her beauty from or where you get your beauty from Nana and I was just like you are so full of it and he he started, he started laughing, and he goes, well, I just thought I'd be nice. I said, and you are so sweet, but you are so full of it, and he, because he knew, he, and he goes, did you think I wasn't going to see through that, and he goes, yeah, he goes, I knew you would, and I said, oh, yeah, I mean, he just, and he just made me laugh in such a horrible time, and, you know, and I just love him, I love them both, I love both my nephews so much, all my nephews and nieces, but, when he said that, it just cracked me up. So, anyways, but it, it just, I don't even know how I got on this part of the conversation, but sometimes when we go through those difficult times and we have family members and they say and do things and, and they just make us laugh, what a blessing that is. I mean, seriously. And I know some people would think that may be a little irreverent, but my mother would have loved that. She would have just been, oh, he's so full of it. <laughs> So, but I mean, in a loving way, you know, but she would have just been, oh, that boy, you know, so anyways, he is hilarious. He is, so, I got that one a little crooked, but I don't know if I want to pull that back up. Let me see if I can pull it back up. Yeah, I can. I didn't think I could pull it back up. I thought I had it down so tight. Okay, let's try again. Well, that's a good thing about this glue. It gives you a little... Gives you a little time to work with it, doesn't it? But anyway, so, but these are the kind of things that I want my grandchildren, you know, to walk away with and, you know, and, and my instructions will be, you know, just cry for a short time, but then be happy because I'm in heaven, you know, and I'll miss you, but we'll be together soon, you know, and that'll be my encouragement to my family because I don't want them going around for years, you know, in a very sad state, you know, and I know my parents didn't want that either, so, you know, but this year is different this year, it's a year that, that, um, I'm actually going to get, I may not get a full-blown Christmas tree up, but I have all my little Christmas trees I think I'm going to get up, and, um, because we're going to be traveling, you know, a little bit, I don't want, you know, I don't think I want to pull everything out, and my husband is really tired this year, and, I mean, you know, I told I told my youngest daughter, she goes, oh, well, if you have projects during Christmas and you need Daddy and I not around, and I said, oh, yeah, baby, and she goes, 
oh, well, good. And she goes, well, we'll still be on the property. We'll be out in the office <laughs> setting up um, a computer for playing games. And I said, that's okay, you know, and because they wanted to, you know, tie two, you know, desktops together. I said, that's fine. I said, honey, as long as if you take the kitchen desktop, I just want the photos off of it. <laughs> and she said, yes, ma'am, I'll do that. And I said, okay. And because um, we have an old kitchen desktop that we haven't used in years. Our son really used it. And um, anyway, sorry it's taking me so long. These are really, there we go. I think I found the trick if I just bend it a little bit. But it was just so sweet and, you know. But I think, I think we want to enjoy this year. Um, I didn't even get a tree up last year. I didn't know until I was working on a photo project for my children. Um, I, I just didn't even have a clue. I was talking to my sister. She called yesterday and they've been traveling. And I was just like, you know, I didn't even know that I didn't have a tree up last year. That's how much I was in a fog. And she was just like, I know. She goes, I, I don't know if I want to put one up. And I said, I don't know that I'll put one up, but I have, I have gorgeous, um, they look like roses. I don't know if you've seen me yet. They're poinsettias. And my husband, they had them at Black Friday. And he goes, would you like one of these? And I said, I would I'd love one. And, um, cause my husband doesn't do a lot. I mean, he'll bring me some cut flowers, but I always tell him, you know, like get the $3 bunch. Don't, don't spend a lot of money. And cause I love cut flowers and, um, and fresh flowers. And so, and I have my little setup in the kitchen. If I think of it, I'll take a picture and send it when they all start bloom, blooming on Instagram. But, um, all the little bulbs, Christmas bulbs that I bought my mom, um, from Trader Joe's and, um, I bought a new one, two new ones to add to it um, this year, and um, I love they come back every year at this time. It makes me think of mom, and so I just, you know, I wanted her to have fresh flowers. My mom did it for my grandmother and great-grandmother, and what a perfect thing to do, and so he offered me these flowers, and I said, why, yes, I love them, and they're, they're poinsettias, and we were looking through, and he goes, well, pick the ones you want. And my husband is very, very um, picky. And so he was digging around. And I said, well, I want these colors on the bottom as well as healthy flowers. And then I saw these ones, and they look like little roses. But they're poinsettias. They're gorgeous. And, um, and, he, and he goes, that's really the ones you want? And I said, I do. I really like them. They're different. And so, anyways, we found those, and I brought them home, and all that kind of good stuff. And, anyways, in the long run, he, um, I, I put them up on a table last night. I, I got little bowls. That's how I ended up getting those bowls for the grandchildren. And I got some little plates to put underneath them, and I figured, well, I, you know, I could go with kids' plates. They're cheaper, 50-something cents, as opposed to, you know, a dollar for the, you know, the official plant liners and things like that. And, Anyway, so I put them up on um, on this table that we have, and I have to tell you, it's it, they're huge. They look like a little trees, you know, little Christmas trees. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. If I don't put up a Christmas tree or if I put up a small Christmas tree, which is really where I think I'm leaning, um, I don't know that, that I'm, I may just, I don't know yet. I just, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But, anyways, I'm, I'm just going to quickly match these up so I can kind of, I don't know, I don't know if it really matters, but I'm going to do it, so that's okay. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to do it. Um, but anyway, so I, I really loved how they turned out, and I was really thankful, and, you know, it's so light for us to be getting things up. I mean, we used to always have everything up the day day and I used to always want to put up the Christmas tree before Thanksgiving my husband was like nope day after you know kind of thing and yeah that's fine everybody has their 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 wants and I was just like that's easy and um but I mean I would be like the first person when we there was a very short season we had real Christmas trees so we figured out we were painfully allergic to them <laughs> so but um anyways I uh I keep turning that to think there's a better way to put it on but I think this is it. Um, but anyway, so I, you know, we're late this year. And if we get something up this year, I feel like that would be better than we did last year. And I think that, because I know many of you have written me and you, and you don't feel good about it this year. You're, you're having, going through a difficult time in your family. 
And I just want to say that God is a God of grace and mercy and understanding. And whether we have a Christmas tree up or not, um, there are those that argue the origins of Christmas trees, you know, and so don't feel badly. You know, I mean, do what you're able to do. Because whatever we do, we should be doing it as a fund of the Lord. And Scripture tells us that. And so, you know, I mean, and I don't know if you if you're a Christian or not, if you're not, then, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sure a little scripture there, but, um, I just want to say you just need to do what works for you and your family. And, you know, um, one of you wrote me that your daughter came and helped you do all this stuff. And I was just so touched by that. And you know what, guys, those are the blessings in life. And, you know, sometimes, as we go through difficult times, there are others who want to step in and help us. And you know what? It's not even what they do. It's the thought that they want to do it. What a blessing that is. So, you know, just keep it really um, simple as, as you feel comfortable with. And if you feel overwhelmed or your health doesn't let you or you're in a bad you know, situation or going through a difficult circumstance, just know... As long as we're doing our best, God is always blessed. And, you know, and sometimes he brings those people alongside us that they, that sometimes the blessing for them is helping, you know. And and I love when it's their idea. <laughs> As a mom, I love when it's their idea. <laughs> and I don't have to say, could you please help me? <laughs> um, but, you know, I just want you guys to know that it, it's all good. I mean, you know, whatever we get done, we do our very best. And that's all that matters, you know. But anyway, so that's a lot of chatter today, isn't it? Sorry, guys. You can tell. Oh, gosh, I've got a few minutes left. And then i got to go take my daughter to school. Hope I can get this finished with y'all. If not, if I didn't finish it, um, I will, you know, work until I have to go. And then I will pop a picture on Instagram. And you guys can see the finished product. No matter what I'll pop a picture on Instagram. So, anyways, there. this really is a no must, no fuss, easy peasy. Again, children can do this <laughs> very easily. <laughs> very, very easily. So, alright, I'm going to go with these. But, and I highly recommend the use of glue. The other thing about glue when you're working with stickers, it gives you a little bit of play. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I definitely would never be pulling these back up if I did not have glue. I mean, I have to be very honest about that. I definitely would not be pulling these back up um, if I didn't have the glue. Because the glue is what helps release it. Because these are pretty sticky stickers. <laughs> Do you like my official term there? My sticky stickers? But we are almost done, my friends. Can you believe it? How easy peasy. I mean, this really is like a 15, 20 minute, if I weren't talking so much, it would have gone faster, project. So, and had I really realized that I'd have two stripes by each other, I might have moved them, but instead I'm just continuing the stripe on. I know. I am silly, aren't I? If I can. Oh, this one may not let me. No, it's not going to let me. Well, we tried. We tried. It's okay. All right, now good enough. Not perfect, but good enough. So, all right, now let's do the ends because I think we're going to have all of that. Then we'll move on. So I'm trying to see. Okay, good. So I'm thinking this is one block, this is another. But I'll have to think that through in just a minute. So, Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is the best kind of craft. Oh, uh, and I can't wait. In another couple of years, this is exactly what I will do with my granddaughter. So, these are so much fun and so easy. I mean, I enjoy baking. I'm not a great baker. So, yeah, when they come to, you know, Mimi Chris's house, it's probably going to be refrigerator rolls unless I make up cookie batches, put them in the freezer, you know, make my own cookie rolls and pull them back out, which I'll do that sometimes, but, um, and I probably will always have those in the freezer for my grandchildren when they come, because my mom always did 
really special things for each of our children. You know, our son had food allergies, so she always made sure that not only did she always have food for him, but for Christmas she would always give him a big box of food. It was always so funny. And he was always so happy, you know, with such severe food allergies. And he was a growing boy. He was always hungry. So he really loved how sweet Nana was about that. So I am, and, and actually, hopefully they're not seeing that, but I've done the same thing. My husband and I found some um, special goodies at an Aldi's, and we filled a box full, and that's going to be for them for Christmas, um, one of their gifts. And our daughter and son-in-law have received many, many gifts for the grandbaby, and we went and helped work on their house, so we kind of feel like that was the trade. Um, but, and they've had, we've given them two showers this year, a wedding and a, and a baby shower, and I know it's been a busy year, so <laughs> anyways. And then our youngest, well, she's still at home, so she gets a little bit more because she's still at home. When they move out on their own, you know, so... Okay, so I am just going to start sticking away. Let's see how these come up. Ooh, not really sure how they come up. And they definitely shed a little. Well, what in the world is going on? Let me see here, guys. I'm going to try to get them close. I can see them. I can see the cutout on the back. So, let's see here. Not really sure where the the cut is on these. Don't want to damage them, and I'm damaging them. Huh? I wonder if they boo booed these. There we go. I was gonna say I wondered if they boo booed these. <laughs> Alrighty. So, whoops. I do want to put a little glue on that. Okay. Get a little glue on for here. Not a lot, just enough to kind of help it tack down. And that's the great thing about this fine line glue is it gives you an extra hold plus a little time to work. So there's my eight. Cute. Okay. Now, and the one came off much easier. Praise the Lord. So, so if you guys would like, list below what you're working on this year for Christmas projects. If any of you are doing any Christmas projects this year. Um, and if you're not, what do you wish or you want to do next year? That might be a fun comment. I'd love to hear what you guys are working on. Um, I know so many of you are so talented. And I feel like this is really, <laughs> uh, really, you know... I could be doing something better from scratch, but, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm, I'm really trying on the channel, if you guys haven't recognized, I'm really trying to find things that would help a lot of people. Um, I've been doing basic 25 days, you know, journaling uh, to show everybody, but next year I may do a, more of a junk journal and um, kind of step it up a little bit, but... Um, Y'all let me know um, what you're working on, and you guys would like to see more of the, you know, junk journal, a little bit stepped up crafts. I would love to know what you guys would like to see. Um, I know that one of our wonderful friends here on our channel, she does amazing work, and she, you know, she sends me pictures, and oh, I just love it, you know. My goal in the Bible journaling, in the seasonal Bible journaling, is to keep it pretty simple. So that anybody who is new to it can, it's like beginners. And I want everybody to feel like they can do that. And then all of you that are in it and who really step up your, you know, your work, I love it. It, it absolutely floats my boat. And, um, but we, we are working on a couple of two to three paid Bible journaling camps this next year and they will definitely be stepped up and I think that will be a lot of fun um, and, and they're not going to be exorbitant I mean I'm trying to keep them as cost effective as possible um, but um, I know that 
you know, I love doing the seasonal and I love doing the free one done. How easy was that? Um, I want everybody to be able to have an opportunity and it not be expensive and just to encourage people in the word is the best of all. Um, but I'm having a good time right now writing curriculum again. And those of you who don't know, I used to write my curriculum when I taught special ed and in the public schools and then also when I taught and tutored privately. And um, not for all my students, but for some specific students I would. And um, I loved it. I mean, I, I loved writing curriculum. That was, it really floated my boat. And I loved to see something that I was writing, you know, immediately get used and encourage. And so um, writing for the Bible journaling camp is, is the same thing. And I've written also, you know, I've written for things like that before for camps and retreats and things like that. So I'm excited, um, for that. And those of you in the central Texas area, we are going to be setting up, um, we will be available to local churches for Bible journaling, um, you know, seminars, workshops for, uh, ladies in the church. And they can be anywhere from one day to a series. And, um, you know, I, I find it interesting. There are so many amazing women's, um, <clears throat> pardon me, like conferences and stuff, but nobody is, is teaching Bible journaling locally. And I hope that's not true. I'm hoping I'm really wrong on that. And um, it was really fun sitting with these women at this tea I went to because... They were like, really? And I said, yeah, yeah, you know, I enjoy it. It's, it's a lot of fun. And, and these were like ladies in, you know, in leadership in many areas. And, uh, they do a women's camp and, you know, a, a young, a young girls camp. And, um, anyway, to make a long story short, and I have a friend who's been a part of that for years and years and her daughter and, and um, all the other ladies that, you know, I, I now have had the blessing to meet over the years. And um, some that I've become friends with. And it's just, you know, it's such a blessing. And anyways, to see this, you know, the gal I was sitting next to um, Sunday night, Sunday evening, she was telling me, you know, the history and how long it had been going on. And, and I love that. And she pulled out pictures. And it was just so much fun to see um, God's Word being taught. I'm going to check my time. Uh-oh, I better hurry up. I've got two more numbers. Ah! But anyway, so it's just a lot of fun. I think that, you know, um, I love the thought that we can teach it here. I love the thought that I can teach it, teach it locally. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And, um, you know, you know how those things work out. So, anyways, and, you know, God's Word is God's Word. And anything we can do to share it is always a blessing as a Christian. So... Anyway, so here we go. We're almost through, my friends. So much chatting. But it is a really slow project, so. <laughs> In my defense, it's a little slow. <laughs> or maybe it's the it's the one doing it. <laughs> so, all right, friends. Uh, you know, you guys are so sweet. I always make the silliest, like, I always call them my preschool jokes. And you always laugh, and you're so sweet about it, and I thank you so much. Y'all are so encouraging. Thank you. You don't make me feel stew, as we would say when the kids were little. <laughs> so, oh, my last one, I made a mess. There you go. Well, that, that's how you end it, right? <laughs> With a mess. I know. It's because I was in a hurry. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, so we have our 25 days until Christmas. Blocks are all done. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you. We'd love to encourage you. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. I'd love to know what you're working on. I love it when you guys send me pictures of what you're working on. And uh, if you have any suggestions for next year when we step it up a little bit. And um, share this if it would encourage anybody else. All right, my friends. Most importantly, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Just love you guys. Now i got to go wash my hands and run my daughter to uh, school. I've got three minutes. All right, y'all. Love you. Bye-bye.